Viewers, um, I want to... ...that is governed by the presence, the life, and the glory of God. So what makes a creature become an elder? When you study 1 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 1, you will know that eldership has to do with character alignment. And so these creatures are the creatures that mirror God the most. So when you look upon them, their dimensions are an effulgence of the essence of God. And so their age is not in time, it's in light. Now when you are done with those elders, you will still find other entities. Because why John was weeping? Because he saw the, 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 the outcome of the human race. And he saw there was no hope for man. And he began to weep in heaven. And he said, a strong angel spoke to him and said, weep not. So after the elders, there are other angels that are called strong. Now what is the credential for strength in the spirit? So there are many creatures in Zion. And Paul, being a wise master builder, an architect of the spirit realm, decided to give us the strata of the spirit realm. And so in Colossians chapter 1 from verse 15, when Paul began to speak, he said, Jesus is the first because all things derive from him. And then after Jesus, he began to give us spiritual stratification. And the first thing he said was, they are thrones. That's why you see the 20 and 4 elders are recognized by the thrones they sit on. Because the highest rank in the realm of God is the rank of thrones. And only elders sit on thrones. Then when you are done with thrones, you now have what you call dominions when you are done with dominions you have what is called principalities when you are done with principalities then you have what is called powers then you have angels Paul was the one giving us this strata in the spirit so elders are occupants of thrones in the spirit they co-rule with God they are part of the legislative council of the spirit realm and so when God wants to embark on a project he can consult with the elders and tell them this is what I have in mind what do you think about it this is why in the book of Job the Bible said when God created the earth he said the sons of God sank into creation because of the authority they have with God they've been given the privilege by God to participate in the enterprises of God as touching his agenda but when you leave the elders you now come to the dominions the dominions are beings that God allocate his civilizations his programs and his realms to and so why an elder is an occupant of a throne, a dominion is a possessor of a realm. And so when God created Adam in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, he said, let them have dominion. So what God was doing was to, to, to establish Adam as one of the ranking princes in Zion. And what will give Adam the credential to participate among the princes in light is for him to become a possessor of a realm of God. And so the earth realm, earth realm was wielded to Adam. And after the dominions, you have the principalities. The principalities are the functionaries that are sent. So when God wants to conquer, he sends principalities. Because the word principality means first in rank. So they come first into a territory. They are like the ecclesia of the spiritual. And then you have the powers. The powers are the ones who come to establish the will of God in a territory that the principality has conquered. Now, the point I'm trying to make is this. When the earth realm was wielded to Adam, Adam was supposed to be the only lord of the earth realm. But unfortunately, he didn't realize that what he was doing was part of an ancient civilization. There is a government in the spirit that extends into the visible realm. And he was saddled with the responsibility of representing that realm on behalf of God. And so another dominion that lost his place in Zion came into the garden in the guise of a serpent. And he began to, be, to, to trade power with Adam. He found a loophole in his soul and traded on the strength of his lust. And when Adam did not realize the, 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 the essence of his operation in the garden, he decided to sell the earth realm for his appetite. And so from that day onwards, the earth no longer had one lord. In fact, in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3, the devil was called the god of this world. And so because the devil has become the god of this world, there's a contention about the will of the spirit that will find expression. And so why God is trying to find expression on the earth realm to establish his dominion, there's another creature that has collected the authority of Adam and is also establishing a parallel government. And so when God begins to give us prophetic insight into what, into what he wants to do, he also gives us insight into what the Lord of the parallel government is doing. So we can be fortified with discernment in order to know how to order our step in a world that is, is there is contention between spirits. 
the things that happen in the natural realm is a product of the politics of the spirit realm. There are princes in light contending to establish the dominion of Abba. And there are other princes in darkness also trying to establish the dominion of the new God of this world. And so why God is giving us a word for this year is to help shield us from all of the invasive strategies of the dominion in darkness. Because if this prophetic word does not come, we will be without a covering. We will become porous because we are not the only beings here. Every time you say thy kingdom come, it's a declaration of war. Because another spirit is establishing another kingdom. And so if you don't want to become vulnerable, you need to carry prophetic wars. Prophetic wars becomes the insurance system of the spirit that keeps you advancing the agenda of God, the devil's presence notwithstanding. And so when God told us it's a year of establishment, we are also aware that the devil is doing something. Because there are many laws on the earth realm. There are many wills, there are many policies, there are many protocols, there are many agenda that are being targeted to be fulfilled on the earth realm. And so for a man to fulfill God's agenda on the earth, he needs a prophetic word. So the idea of the 